Guys, we're walking to class. I actually have the camera. Hi guys, it's now like 10.45. Oh my gosh. We're in oh silly mood. <laughs> See you guys in the morning also. The enchilada was fire. Definitely a little anxious and nervous, but it's gonna be great. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tenley Rude, and today is going to be a really exciting video. We are going to be trying to run a half marathon or running one. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully running one. <laughs> okay guys, so this is really exciting. So basically it is currently October 16th. Um, it's October Wait, 16th. <laughs> no, you're I have a Snapchat. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, so, I don't know why you're excited because that enchilada is not worth being excited. Stop! <laughs> I'm supposed to run a half marathon on November 2nd, but I've been thinking it's gonna be like really cold, so I'm kind of scared. So I was like, what if I just try to run it tomorrow? <laughs> I'm supposed to run eight miles tomorrow for this training. <laughs> we are now prepping for that. Okay, I'm not a runner, <laughs> not certified, but I've heard that you're supposed to carb load, so I've been eating some of these. I've actually eaten so many. <laughs> And then I already kind of ate dinner, but I was like, oh my gosh, I need like fully carb load. Also, you guys are kind of crooked, sorry. So I went to Target tonight and I got these lean cuisine meals. And this is the chicken enchilada souza. <laughs> but we're gonna taste test this together. But basically we're trying to carb load. Updates to come on how this tastes. We are all ready for bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Also, the enchilada was fire. So good, highly recommend. Lean cuisine, you know what's up. See you guys in the morning. Good morning world, happy Thursday, happy, hopefully half marathon day. We'll see what happens. But it's like 7.40 right now. I woke up at around 7.30 and we're just kinda gonna have a really good morning. I just made myself a coffee because I don't really function without it, but it's gonna be so good. It's like a pumpkin coffee. I'm so excited about it. I make coffee like every single morning, but that's actually the only caffeine that I've been drinking the past like three weeks. I haven't been doing any energy drinks or anything. I think that's making me feel like so much better. I still feel very energized and everything. I've been getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night again. So feeling like a new human. And we're gonna really quick make a liquid IV too for the day because I wanna feel really strong and hydrated and ready for this. And then I'm gonna go get some breakfast, which I'm gonna go get oatmeal from the dining hall is my plan, which is gonna be so good. And I never eat oatmeal, which might be dumb to eat this today, but I feel like to carb load, it could be really effective. That's my goal, that's my hope, so we'll see. So we're gonna go get some oatmeal and then come back here with my Bible, like get ready for the day all the things, but I need to change into an outfit that's like more appropriate than this to go to the dining hall. So we're gonna pick out a little outfit today. I just want something really comfortable. I just have one class and then it's time. So let's get dressed, make our liquid IV, get the day going. Hey guys, here's my outfit for the day. This sweatshirt is H&M. Leggings are Lulu, these are Uggs, but I'm actually not gonna wear these to class today. I'm just gonna wear these to the dining hall and then when I actually go to class, I'll put on my hokas because these kind of hurt my feet when I walk like really long distances in them. But for this, they're perfect. Let's go get some breakfast. Hopefully this is so good. Never had their oatmeal before. I don't really love oatmeal. But yesterday I got a weird craving for it. We'll see. It's so cold out. Okay guys, it's 8.20 so I feel like I kind of have to hurry and I still haven't like read my Bible or anything like that. But we're gonna make my liquid IV for the day. Also, I tried to eat that oatmeal, and it honestly was just really bland. They didn't have, like, any... Like, I wanted to mix in, like, chocolate chips or something yummy, and they didn't have anything like that. So I just did, like, blueberries and some cinnamon, like, sugar, but it was not good. When I was there, I was also scared of it not being good, so I grabbed, like, two of these, like, random muffins, like, one blueberry and one, like, cobbler-looking one, and they were fine. They were low-key cold, so I ate, like, a quarter of both of them, and that's my breakfast. I'm so sorry. Why is this fogging up? You guys are sitting on my coffee, so I think that's why. But my favorite liquid IV flavor ever is cotton candy. It's so good, so we're gonna make that. I think it's new. My mom just got it, and it literally tastes like cotton candy. Like, you're drinking cotton candy. It's awesome. I'm also, like, a really big cotton candy person, though. Like, cotton candy ice cream, everything. Give her a little mix. Taste test time. I still have to like completely get ready for the day. Read my Bible. We have so much to do, but that's okay. Mm, so good, best start to my day. So I need to finish my coffee too. Things are looking up after that oatmeal experience now. Okay guys, so I'm doing a verse in every video that I've really been liking and my reading from that day or from that week. I forgot to do in last video, but we're gonna start it up again. So today's verse is 2 Corinthians 6.10 and it's talking about Paul and all of his hardships that he's faced being a follower of Christ. And it says, 
Our hearts ache, but we always have joy. We are poor, but we give spiritual riches to others. We own nothing, and yet we have everything. I think that's so good. I especially love like the first and the last line. And I think it's so true that no matter like what you're going through in life and no matter what hardships you are facing, people that have a relationship with Jesus can still find joy in that situation because we know like eventually where we are going to be in life when we are going to be with him. And we also just know that there's like so much goodness, even if we can't see it right now, just in having a relationship with Jesus and that just genuinely brings you so much joy. And then I also love we own nothing and yet we have everything. And like you can be the wealthiest person on earth and still feel like you're missing something and that can be Jesus but you can be like the most poor person on the earth and have a relationship with Jesus and you will literally feel like you have everything and I just think that's so cool this will be such a good reminder hopefully for your Thursday if you're watching this on a Thursday and I just think it was so good and it really uplifted us this morning we're gonna finish our quiet time and then I'm pretty much ready because I just threw my hair back basically I'm gonna pick up my room a little bit because it's a little messy but we're gonna finish my quiet time first. Okay, so we're walking to class. I actually have the camera on campus this morning and we have accounting. It's an hour and 15 minutes of really exciting stuff. And it's absolutely freezing right now. It's so cold. It's so cold, but it's okay. We're doing the thing. We're going to class. Got we my already missed the bus, so we're kind of screwed. We did. That's I've never even taken the bus. Got my liquid IV. Once. Guys, before we graduate, we're gonna go, or after, we're, we're gonna, gonna go to Nashville, Nashville and New Jersey. Oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. Can we line dance? Yes. How's that's everyone know? <gasps> that sun feels delightful. Okay, then after this, 13.1. apple pie and Okay, guys, I am so nervous, but I'm also like, you know what? Let's see what my body can do. It's gonna be great. And if this doesn't go well, today's supposed to be an eight mile day. So my plan is, if it doesn't feel good and I only do eight miles, eight miles will still be the furthest I've ever run. Before this, the furthest I've ever run is seven miles. So feeling excited, definitely a little anxious and nervous, but it's gonna be great. It's super windy out today. So that's like my biggest fear right now because when I ran seven miles the other day, it was gorgeous out, but I changed into this Lulu tank top and then Lulu leggings. And now we have a couple prep things to take care of. I've been sipping on a liquid IV this morning, so hopefully I feel really strong and good for this. I'm gonna take a couple ibuprofen. Today and yesterday, all day I've had a headache and I don't know why. And I don't know why, and I still have a headache right now and I just want my body to feel good, so we're gonna take a few ibuprofen. Fun fact about me, I never take ibuprofen. I do not like using it. Normally if I have a headache, I just go to bed or drink a lot more water or eat food or something. And it normally helps, but it's been like ongoing for the past two days. So we're gonna take a little medicine. We're gonna eat one of these heavenly hunks for some quick carbs before my run. The best ever. I'm nervous for this now. My mom had some energy chews. They're supposed to be good for running. Lily sometimes will use them. So we're gonna take one. 60 milligrams of caffeine and then I'm gonna bring one more for during my run because I feel like I'm gonna want a little kick. I've heard they taste horrible, so let's see. This is what it looks like. It smells like pineapple, kind of looks like a Starburst. My camera just died, but that actually wasn't that bad, so I'm gonna take one more for later on my run. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then head out the door. Hey guys! We literally did it. I have like no words. It's like 2.45 now. My pace was an 8.52 and i finished in under two hours which was my goal the whole entire time i finished i believe in one hour and 56 minutes and like five seconds and i just can't believe i actually did it like i kind of can because i feel like i'm a very like determined person and normally once i like get an idea in my head i'm gonna like follow through with it and i like really went into that run with the idea that i was gonna do that but oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm in a lot more pain than I thought I was gonna be like post run. During the run, I honestly felt really, really good until mile like 10. And then mile like 12 was actually very extremely difficult for me. But I felt so horrible and I almost started crying at one point because I just wanted to be done. And I was about to just like quit. And then I was like, do not quit yet. But then the unfortunate part why I don't feel good is I stopped the shop because I ended up on like Mass Street if you know Lawrence at all. So I ended up very far, very far from my dorm, like a 45 minute walk on accident kind of. At that point though, I didn't really care where I was. I just wanted to get it done with. And I wanted to stay on these like neighborhood trails that I was on. So basically I stopped at this little shop and it was so good, but I got a water and Italian soda and a Sprite. I drank all of those literally within under five minutes. And now my stomach feels horrible literally horrible because why would you drink that much fluid that quick i don't know but i did it and it was a lot of carbonation 
and I feel absolutely horrible now, but that's okay. I'm hoping it will calm down in like the next hour or so. But then the cherry on top of that was I started walking back, had to climb a mountain of a hill, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Then I finally got the courage to get on a bus, which I've never done before. And the bus ride was like 30 minutes long and I get really car sick and I was like unwell. But it's okay guys, basically my experience is done and the fact that I ran a half marathon has not hit me yet at all. I'm thinking of going to bed tonight at like eight o'clock and I don't know if I'll be able to, but that's my goal. I was supposed to go to Salt tonight at eight, but I'm like, I don't know if I have the energy for that. Like we'll just see how this goes, but I'm on the way to softball right now, which hopefully will be really, really good. But I'm just in shock, in pain, but also just so thankful and all glory to Jesus because I definitely could not have done that without him. I was talking to him through a lot of it. And yeah, my legs are so sore, my knees hurt, my tummy is so unwell. But we have ran a half marathon, 13.1 miles, and that's in less than 1% of the American population. So go us. Woo! Like that's so cool. If you would have told me in August when I started my running journey that I was gonna run a half marathon two months later, I think I actually would have laughed in your face. And now I did it. Crazy. We're gonna have a great rest of the day. Hopefully not very much longer rest of the day because I would love to be in bed by seven o'clock. I do have to do laundry though after this practice today, which is okay. So I'm gonna try, I have one little assignment due tonight, so I'm gonna try to do that. While I'm here, maybe just nap here then when my laundry is going and then finish that up go straight home and literally shower and go to bed. The bad thing also is that I wasn't able to shower after my run, which is disturbing because I did not get back there with enough time at all. I got back there with like two minutes to spare. So I'm very, very late right now. I should have been here like seven minutes ago, but I'm doing my best. I feel like they'll understand. But yes, very happy my family's the best and they were also supportive. Lily also has a really big cross country meet today. So I'm sure she killed it. Yeah, that's our, that's our little update. I'm a half marathoner now. Crazy. My vlog practice is now over and I have laundry tonight. It's like six o'clock right now. So that's great. I made it stop at Slim's and I got chicken strips and fries because we need to carb load and refuel after that run. I feel so much better now. I feel like a new person for the like three hours after if I was going to die but we're better now. Oh, I'm just gonna eat this, wait for the laundry to be done. I have a really big essay thing due tomorrow. So I'm gonna start that probably in a little bit, but things are looking up. I'm supposed to go to Salt tonight at eight o'clock. We'll see if I go because I have to do this laundry and I wanna get this done. We'll see. So good, I was also snacking during practice on random things, so. I did my calculus during practice, that was productive, so that was great. We're gonna sit down, eat this, and watch YouTube. Guys, okay, actually freezing, I'm shivering. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera. <gasps> I stopped at Sonic on the way home, got a giant soda, a small slush, and some popcorn chicken and it was fire and now we're gonna go get ready for bed good morning room. happy friday it's the morning after the half marathon we're gonna vlog this morning a little bit and then we're gonna start a whole new vlog tonight because we have a really fun weekend ahead of us but my body is so sore this morning but that's okay we're gonna go get coffee with one of my good friends and i'm so excited to see her hi guys it's now like 10 45 and i had calculus it was really really good and then i walked back to my dorm was talking on the phone with my mom for a little while and now i'm literally just drove to the coffee shop that we were at this morning which is so funny i want to get either the same drink or try something new because i've already gotten the drink i got this morning one other time before that but i also am really wanting like a croissant or just a baked good or something and they always look so good here so we're gonna try that and we can do like a little taste test I want to talk to you guys a little bit though how I'm feeling post half marathon because that's like the whole point of this video Also, sorry I didn't film during the half because I really just like wanted to focus on running and I was afraid that if I tried to film it or talk during it or whatever it would take like too much energy and I also was just like really enjoying like the time and it was just a really cool experience so very happy I could do it. Today though, I'm definitely very, very sore and a little tired. I'm like good energy wise, but my body is just so tired. So I was planning on going to the gym today and not doing like a lift or anything, but walking and maybe like a little core or something. And I might just take the day off. We'll kind of see how I'm feeling 
but definitely very very sore which I was expecting but I don't think I expected it to like this extent like this campus that we are on is so hilly so like walking around it has been so painful but that's okay so we're gonna go in and get ourselves a little treat we had calculus it was great I just have one more class today because my class that I normally have in between these two is actually canceled today which is so nice so grateful to our professor for that so we're gonna go in get something yummy and it's gonna be great and then we have a fun night plan but that's gonna be in a different vlog so let's go do this thing i'm excited to try a yummy treat so yay hey guys we're walking back to our door and we're gonna end off this vlog here because we're literally gonna pick up the camera moped alert <laughs> in like two seconds because we have a really fun weekend ahead i'm so excited and it's beautiful out it's like 80 degrees we're gonna start the weekend off at sonic and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this half marathon journey it was a great time and we did it goal was accomplished follow my instagram at tenley underscore root and my tiktok at tenley root and i hope to see you guys all in the next one jesus loves you so much i love you so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys later bye